What is up, humans? I'm not going to lie. I kind of blew it this time. We're talking about the Leo Baker shoe. I did not order enough. We got to see a bunch of CADs. And if we saw photos when we ordered this thing, they were pretty bad photos. Damn it. I'm so disappointed because holy crap. This shoe looks so good. I'm kind of, this might be blasphemy, but it's like a cooler half cab. Oh God. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's a little, it's way more tech than a half cab, but I'm definitely feeling this shoe. It's kind of like a new Omar, which I can say it's like the evolution of the Omar by Nike SB, which is a pretty sick shoe. Everybody hated it. <laughs> not too many people liked the Omar. I definitely loved the Omar. It definitely looked weird. It had like fly wire in it and all this sort of stuff. It was crazy, but I definitely love skating it. And uh, here you go. This is the React Leo by Nike SB. And it's another brown and black shoe. So we're just going to knock this out really quick. Let's see. Let's tuck these laces in here. Guys, look at how sick this shoe is. I can't get over... Damn it. I, sometimes the CADs just did not, or I guess all the times, the CADs just didn't do it justice. I think this shoe looks great. Um, the sole is kind of a hybrid, kind of like cup sole, vulcanized sole that you kind of, you know, Ishad. Ishad's kind of going for the same vibe where you have like the tech, but also the flickability built into the same sole. Is, is that a word? Flickability? Let's turn this a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Um, but anyway, here's your herringbone tread on this one. This does look like it has the Nike regrind, which is a little bit more sustainable. Um, you do have a triple stitch uh, on this toe box here. It kind of does look, I don't know, and they haven't spoken to this at all in any of the features, but see how you can see on this area right here, you can see the raw suede. And it almost does look like this is turn and stitch as well, but turn and stitch with a triple stitch. So that might hold up super, super well. Hard to say because nobody's skated this yet, but I am hoping to get a sample pair of these or a sample pair. I'm hoping to get a promo pair of these. Bob, if you're listening, I am so hyped on this shoe. I, I wasn't expecting to be. I was sometimes and then other times, I don't know. It looks so good. So. Um, it's lighter than you would expect. It does have this uh, Leo branding all over the inside of this uh, quarter panel right here. Um, also around the collar. And then you have this uh, pull tab. Pull tab on the heel so you can help pull your shoe on. I have no idea how it fits because, like I said, I blew it. I didn't order very many of these and I did not get my size. But uh, Irving tried them on and he loves it. He's going to get some. And he did say that they do run a little narrow. Um, but that said, this is reported to be built off of the Jordan 1 last. So the last is the foot form that you build a shoe around. And that's what this is built around. So um, if you like the way Jordan 1s fit, this might fit similar. Unfortunately, this brown one is the only one we got. Like I said, I ordered very light on this shoe. I wish I did more. I wish I got the white ones as well. Um, we're, we're still chasing them. If there's any inventory that pops up, we're gonna keep our eye on it and try to grab some of these things. Um, let's pull this out. This right here, insole, is the React aspect of the shoe that we're talking about. So this is the React leo or the leo react whatever leo baker nike sb or nike skateboarding and then there's your react foam on the insole or yeah so it's like a drop in midsole as well um, but yeah there you go um these have some costumes in this or brew and react remember those this this sole is really good um what was that cortez looking shoe the uh the Blue Ribbon SB also has the React insoles. 
um, which are very good. So this shoe does have your Lycra tongue straps in there. I can't really get a good view in there, but there are Lycra tongue straps that keep that thing centered and stable. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty sick. There's this rubber piping, or maybe it's like a vinyl or yeah, some kind of piping right here. And I know that it's just cosmetic, but I guarantee that I always pop my laces up here. I'm wondering if like this little ridge will help keep your ollies away from your laces. It may not, but I do wonder that. It's kind of, it might actually serve a purpose. So, um, but other than that, it looks pretty sick. It's kind of like a half cab met Omar and made a baby. We're not going to talk about making babies. Anyway, I think that's it, guys. It's kind of the new mid top by Nike SB. So if you uh, just want to try something besides blazers, uh, blazers are one of our best selling shoes. Maybe this will be a good mid top to slide in there. It's a little lower than a blazer for sure. But um, if you like mids, definitely worth checking out. Um, I wish I could give you more sizing information, but I haven't put it on my foot. Like I said, Irving says it fits nice, but a little snug on his pinky toe. So this shoe will release in store on the 15th of September and it is 95 bucks. So there you go. That is all the information I have for you right now about the Leo Baker Nike SB or Nike skateboarding shoe. Um, we should be seeing a lot of media hype around this shoe coming up really soon if you guys aren't already seeing it. I think that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up, and we're going to get to editing. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at the Leo Baker. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys coming around and watching all the videos. Thank you so much. I know I've been slack lately, but I've been skating a ton, trying to get healthy again because I keep getting hurt and unhealthy. So we're doing pretty good. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. All the best. Love blue tile. Goodbye.